Meet Tide and Gyre. Uh, Tide and Gyre are identical supercomputers that collect data from satellites and, and weather balloons across the world in order to bring you the most accurate weather forecast possible. Tide and Gyre are very good at their jobs, but they do have some international competition. We look at two main models, the American model, the European model. Right now on Friday morning, they're very close together. But watch what happens. The American model, as we go into the weekend, moves it more toward Bermuda. The European model keeps it hugging the coast, and by early Tuesday morning, it's inland in the northeast. That's a 775-mile difference between these two systems. What, which one will happen? Which one will happen? That, that was October 24th, 2012. The following week, Hurricane Sandy did in fact make landfall along the southern coast of New Jersey. So which one did happen? We know. The folks running the weather forecasting model in Europe, they were right. A few days before Superstorm Sandy hit, our National Weather Service did adjust their forecast to better match the European forecast. But the question remained, why was Europe better at this than we were? Why did Europe know where that storm was going to go before we knew? Why did it take us longer to get the answer right? The answer has two parts. The first part is depressing. Uh, it's that the European model is more sophisticated than ours, and it uses more data. Second part, also depressing. Not only is their forecasting model more sophisticated and uses more data, our other shortcoming in comparison to Europe is that their supercomputers calculate forecasting data at a much faster rate than ours. Even though we run one of the most highly regarded forecasting systems in the world, we're behind the curve. Europe's better. And when it comes to preparing for the next massive, potentially destructive weather event, we can't be behind the curve. Well, this month, NOAA announced that we as a country are now taking steps to catch up to the European model. Tide and Gyre's forecast power has tripled. By October, their power will be increased tenfold. They'll be make, making 5,000 trillion calculations per second. With this increased power, with this upgrade, they're going to be able to send out much better pictures days ahead of the old standard, which is good news for all of us. The reason NOAA can afford these big upgrades is because Congress approved it. Yes, our Congress. After Sandy, Congress passed a disaster relief bill in 2013 that specifically included $25 million to up NOAA's computing power. We talk a lot about how, what Congress fails to do, but here they did something, and it will likely have a real effect in your life. And maybe this is small potatoes, but it's also science. And at a time when we are seeing some of the scariest headlines in the world about the threat posed by climate change, our Congress showing an ability to handle something scientific without it being a scandal is a small green shoot of hope, a high-resolution supercomputing green shoot.